Hey guys, it's Krista from Sawmill Ridge, and today we are starting the process of getting all of the straw and hay out of the left side of the barn. So there's the hay mall over in the corner, as well as all the hay on the floorboards in this whole bay. So we're trying our best to move this grain elevator in so that we can get that out of there. Of course, this part was not easy. <laughs> this grain elevator was stubborn to move. It had sat out in the rain a little bit since our barn is not ready to put it in. And we had a little bit of struggle um, to get going in this process. So here's what we're trying to get on out of the barn. You can see that they had ripped off the floorboards to, towards the front or the back side of the barn. Um, so we also need to be careful about that, that we're not falling through the floor. <laughs> So this hay mall might not look as intimidating as it actually is. It's deep, it's thick, and it is heavy. So this is going to be quite the process. And there's our grain elevator, which we had a little trouble getting going. Um, it was quite the struggle. It did not want to move. It was rusted in a couple spots. Um, so we just we had to give it we had to give it a lot of energy to get it going. We finally found that if we ran the generators, it would work better to run. Um, the, it was basically where we were trying to plug in, the grain elevator was too far away. It wasn't offering enough power. So we just oiled it up and um, ran it off the generators and it got us up and running. So we were finally able to start moving the straw and the hay out um, into the field where we could then move it with the tractor into a pile up at the tree line. You so, can't. You, uh, you can't really see the pile of hay on the other end of the. Not yet. I'll elevator. show it. <laughs> so today we got the elevator running. Took a little while, and then uh, we're moving the hay out of the upstairs where they pulled the rafters back. Note to self: never let your elevator out in the rain. Elevator was a little rusty when we got here. Didn't want to get going. Uh, we had to go back and get a couple generators and got it running. It is hot out. We are both sweaty and now dusty and dirty, but I have 200 bad. year cow dung dust between my toes. Uh, not as bad as the, there's like possum or something, dung everywhere. That's current. It's current. It does not make me feel better that it's current. It was hard. My arms are sore. It's not really hard. It's just monotonous and repetitive and just wears you out. I disagree. I think it's hard. Oh, it's hot. But we're a step closer. It's okay. Good. So you can see more floor. It's, it's not rotten. <laughs> it's all got to be done. Okay, Kevin is off. I'm going to try to finish up this last little bit and call it a day. So I no sooner got up and running by myself than the elevator stopped working again. Um, so here is just a lesson in perseverance and I just kept going and going until I was able to fix the elevator and get it going again. Uh, it wasn't easy and I was already exhausted and wanted to quit. So 
in some of these projects, especially when you're by yourself, that is not the best time to play. You just gotta push through and we did. And at least this floor is done and it's time to start on the hay mail. So there it is. We have a clean floor on this side of the barn and uh, it's exciting to see the floorboards but lots more work to do in the hay mail so that is what's coming up next we also have a lot of other great projects going on in this barn too i can't wait to share i know we've been behind it's only because we're so busy doing so much good work we'll see you next time